Thank you very much, Anna. We've got another little cloud across the United Kingdom once again today. You can see on the satellite picture here, the United Kingdom swathed underneath that cloud. Cloud. But we are hopeful that over the next couple of days we'll start to see the cloud tending to break up. So a little bit more brightness around, but overnight that gives us a problem with a frost. So we are going to see some patchy frost over the next few nights, but quite how extensive it will be will depend on that cloud coverage, which could be quite temperamental. But what we can say this afternoon is brightness will be hard to find and we'll see some patchy rain moving through Scotland in towards northern England and also parts of Wales by the end of the afternoon. And again, those temperatures will reach highs of 8 or 9 degrees degrees Celsius. Overnight tonight, we'll pick up on the cloud and rain. It sinks in towards England and also Wales. So here, temperatures should stay above freezing, I think at a minimum, say, two or three degrees. Meanwhile, there'll be a local frost for Northern Ireland as skies start to clear, with a more extensive frost for Scotland. Temperatures here could get down to minus three or minus four degrees. So although it will be frosty to start the day tomorrow across Scotland, it's going to be very different indeed because here we will see some sunshine, a fine day to come for Scotland and also for Northern Ireland. Not such quite good prospects for England and Wales though because we'll still have the cloud here with the occasional outbreak of rain and also drizzle. It should tend to continue to slip southwards into the afternoon, so allowing a little bit more brightness to extend into northern England later on in the day and those temperatures again at 8 or 9 degrees. By the time we get to Wednesday here, we're hoping to see a bit more sunshine as the cloud and rain clears out of the way. There's a small chance of perhaps a shower along southern counties of England and also some mist and fog to the north, which may be quite stubborn to clear. And then a slight change in the south later on in the week as the winds turn to this easterly direction. It's going to bring with it some very cold air across the southern half of England and also Wales, along with some cloudier skies and perhaps one or two showers. To the north of that, very little change in that it will be a frosty start to the day with some isolated mist and fog patches, but the once they clear it should be fine and dry and we'll see temperatures ranging from around about 7 degrees in the north to 8 or 9 degrees in the south, but obviously feeling colder with that brisk easterly wind. By the time we get to Friday, the whole of the United Kingdom looks like being fine and dry once we've lost that early morning mist and fog with a top temperature of 8 degrees. Anna.